everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kay. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the spring edition of Fab Fit Fun. So this is definitely one of the bigger boxes that I get. Um, just making sure I'm not flashing my address there. So if you already know everything there is to know about this box and you just want to skip ahead to the items inside, then as usual, I will leave a timestamp in the comment section down below. But if you don't know what this box is and you want a little bit more information, then I'm going to give a brief little description here. But I will also leave some more detailed information in the description box down below for you to check out at your own leisure. So FabFitFun is a seasonal subscription box and it's, it's not just beauty, it's a beauty, lifestyle, fitness kind of box. You can get a variety of stuff in this box. Now this box is from the US so all of the prices and everything will be in US dollars. But I'll try to remember to leave the conversion into pounds on the screen for you as I go through. Now, as I said, this is a seasonal box, so you only get four a year. One for spring, one for summer, autumn, winter. There's two different types of subscriptions that you can take out for this box. One is a seasonal subscription, and that will cost you $49.99 per box. Now, if you're in the UK, you do have to pay taxes and a $10 shipping fee on top of that. Um, and I, I can't remember what that brings it to in total. And then they also do an annual subscription, which is $179.99, and that's for the whole year. Um, and I think that works out to a $20 saving. Now, there are perks to being an annual member. Um, they actually call it a select member. So you've got your seasonal and select membership. Now, if you're a seasonal subscriber, you can choose a few items for this box yourself but then FabFitFun will choose the rest for you. If you're an annual or a select member then you get to choose a few more items and FabFitFun will only choose I think it's about three items that they choose for you in that case. The products inside the box um, can be anything from makeup to skincare, hair care, beauty tools. In the past we've had crockery, we've had blankets, clothing like socks and cardigans sometimes there's some fitness products like um, small exercise equipments like skipping ropes and things like that um so you really can get a mix of stuff in this box i haven't actually unboxed one on my channel for a while i've, I've had them but i just always seem to not have time to unbox them and by the time i got around to it you'll already have seen everything you needed to see anyway um but this one I feel like I'm actually on top of it this time. So uh, here we are. And just so you know, I am a select member, so I do pay for the annual subscription, which means that I have actually chosen quite a lot of what's in this box. Now, I have already opened this box. I always end up opening this box well before I want to. My four-year-old son gets very excited when this box comes and um, he insists that we open it straight away and he got he got very excited about this one and I'll show you why when I get to it. So this isn't a surprise for me but it's still very exciting and um, I can't wait to show you what's in here. So inside the box there is a FabFitFun magazine and this is this is a really good magazine actually, I like this magazine that comes with it. It tells us everything we need to know about the products, it tells us um, the RRPs, it tells us the other things that we could have chosen um, or the other things that FabFitFun could have chosen for us. So you sort of get an idea of what kind of box you've got, which sometimes isn't great, um, but at least you get to see what kind of things that you could get in future because sometimes they do bring back some products especially if they were popular there's also usually some little articles in here from um people that own some of these brands there have been like crossword puzzles inside for you to do as well um and um there's usually some hints and tips on how to use some of the products that we've got in the box as well and it also tells you about um a uh, a charity that they are partnered with um, so every month FabFitFun partners with a charity of some sort or another and this month it looks like it's with One Tree Planted which sounds fairly self-explanatory 
but we'll be referring to this as we go through the items and I'll let you know what the other products are that I could have chosen or that I could have gotten as well. Oh, so one more thing before we do finally get into the box is um, they break down all the products into categories so you can choose one item from each category and sometimes if you want more than one thing from a category Fabric Fun will let you choose an additional product as an add-on but that will be at a massively reduced price so you're not going to be paying the RRP for that item it's usually around the 10 to 15 dollar mark depending on what kind of products are in that category now i did actually have an add-on um, for this box when i was choosing from the categories there was something that i wanted as well as so i did put that in um, but i'll talk about that when we get to it you do get the opportunity with both subscriptions to shop their sale before the box ships um, and then you don't pay any extra shipping charge with that it's just all included in your box you do have to pay tax obviously to the uk um, on those items but it's those items are at a drastically reduced price so sometimes you can find some really good bargains on there um, i have shopped those in the past but this time i passed because i'm on a low buy and i didn't want to break that low buy but I was so tempted at one point I had about six things in my car it would have cost me an absolute fortune it would have completely destroyed my low buy which is why I took them out but yeah there, there were a few things that I was quite excited were in the sale so now I've waffled on forever about this box let's actually get into what I got so from the first category I chose this so it's a milk makeup duo um so we've got the watermelon brightening face mask and then we've got the watermelon brightening serum um i like watermelon i like brightening i wanted these so let's just open them up and show you so they're just little um stick products if it will focus there you go um it does have a plastic cap on which i'm not going to take off at the moment but you can see they're just stick products um so you just sort of apply them um from what i can tell you can either apply them directly and then sort of use your fingers to pat them in or you could probably just sort of take it from here and then apply um i'm not particularly graceful i will probably just plaster it on so the rrp of these is 44 dollars and all it says in here is instantly brighten your complexion with the power of watermelon extract so for category one there were so many things that we could have chosen so category one was something that any member could choose from so seasonal and select members could have chosen from this category so there was the Alice and Olivia Daisy Print Duffel Bag, which was this thing here. There was the Pericone MD FX Acyl Glutathione Rejuvenating Moisturiser, which is, which is this one up here. We've got the Short Stories LED Indoor Planter. And then if you were in the US, that came with some um, basil seeds. But for the UK, you weren't able to get those. You were only able to get the planter. And that was this one here. There was the Jenny Kane Water Hyacinth Tray with Cutout Handles. Which was just this thing here. The Tech Candy UV Sanitizer, which was this thing here. Um, the Shoshana Umbrella, which was up here. The Calpac Set of Three Packing Cubes in Sorbet, which were these here. Or the Munro Classic Watch in Sunburst Solar Rose, which was my add-on. 
so I just thought this looked very nice and very pretty um, I love the rose gold on it I love the way it shimmers on the face there and I love the colour of the strap as well I love a light grey and rose gold combo um, now <laughs> when I made my selection for this box and I decided that I was going to have this I wasn't wearing my Fitbit but um, I'm back on my Weight Watchers kick and um, the Fitbit has made a reappearance so I actually don't know when I'm going to wear this now hindsight's 2020 um but it is still very pretty and um you know as and when we're all safe and able to go out again if I ever manage to go on a night out somewhere I will swap the Fitbit for the pretty watch um so not a total waste but yeah I, I thought I might get more use out of this than uh I actually am but never mind um, so this has an RRP of £105 and by pounds I obviously mean dollars and I think the add-on price for this was $15 I'm not complaining um, so it just says strap on this timeless watch for a sophisticated look and it does look it does look very nice so uh, yeah happy to have that so from category two which again both seasonal and annual members could choose from i chose the goyam ultimate core toning kit which consists of this and this which well you can see that did not come in the box like that that has been blown up already as soon as my son saw these he thought these were really awesome toys to play with and ran off with them straight to daddy so that daddy could blow the ball up and he could play with it i don't actually know how much use i'm going to get out of these at this point but um we'll see so this toning kit um this has an rip of 50 dollars and it just says tone your core and improve flexibility with the core plus reformer and mini ab ball so from what i understand um these are supposedly um pilates sort of things i've never done pilates in my life i'm not flexible yoga and pilates would probably help with that but both of those things just sound like torture to me so I've never done them but out of all the options that were available I thought this was probably going to get the most use mainly because I was thinking about going back on Weight Watchers at the time so why I thought about buying the watch I don't know but anyway um my brain works in mysterious ways let's just put it that way um but yeah I, I just thought I'd, I'd give it a go um from the comfort of my own home where no one can see me i'm willing to try it now this category there was actually something that i wanted but i couldn't get but the time i went on to make my selections the thing i wanted had already sold out so i ended up with the toning kit not unhappy with it um it just wouldn't have been what i'd have chosen first so the other options so the other things that we could have chosen from category two were the our place lunch box which which is this the spl the billion dollar bro six piece pro brush essentials kit which was this little brush kit here the Splendid Faux Fur Slippers in Crystal Pink and I know they did those in two sizes like a, a small and a medium I think they were the Josie Moran 100% Pure Argan Oil which was this one here the Steel Mill & Co To Do Planning Bundle which was this little selection of things stationary things here and the mac cosmetics powder kiss lipstick duo which was these here this was what i wanted 
I really, I really wanted to try those. Um, but as I said, they were unavailable, so I was left with the other items to choose from. So out of all the other choices, I, yeah, I went with the toning kit. On to category number three. Um, again, all members could choose this one. So I chose this um, ring from Joy Dravecki. Now it is an adjustable ring, um, so let me just show you here. So you can see you can adjust it at the back here and that's what that looks like there. This isn't something that I would normally choose, um, it's not something that I would normally wear but from the other options that we got I didn't really want anything else. So I went with this because I kind of figured that I'd try it and see. It was something a little bit different. Maybe I would like it. Um, looking at it now, I don't. I really don't think it's my style. But I might try it out and see what I think of it when I'm actually wearing it. I tend to go for silver jewellery over gold jewellery though. So I'm still not sure. I'm not convinced. Um, but if I really, really don't like it, then I'm sure I can find a good home for it. So this is the Chloe ring and the RRP on this is $75. Bling out your hand with this adjustable hexagon shaped ring which fits ring sizes 6 to 8. Now that's US sizes, I don't know what that converts to in UK. I'm pretty sure it told me on FabFitFun's website when I was making my selections but I... I I can't remember. I've slept a few times since then. But yeah, the, the other options for that were the Versal Skincare Super Eye Serum, which is this one here, which I've already got. I'm currently using it. I've got a few eye creams as well, so I definitely didn't need another eye cream, particularly one that I already own. There was the Alice and Olivia Reversible Bucket Hat, which oops which looked like that and actually coordinated with the bag from category one there were the bloomingville woven seagrass coasters which were these is that it and there was the gloss modern clean luxury hair mask which was this one here now I like hair masks but I don't know I just didn't feel like I needed one right now um, I knew I was probably going to be getting at least one in um, March subscription boxes I can only use so much so out of all of those options I just thought do you know what I'll try the ring and uh, and uh, yeah I'm, I'm not convinced but I'll try it. So next we get into the choices that only annual or select members could make. So if you're a seasonal member, FabFitFun will choose from this category for you. So from this category, I chose the Larkin Ives hair scarf bundle. Um, and they've come in this little bag here. Now, this again was another category that there was something else I wanted but it was sold out by the time I got on which was a little bit frustrating but um, it happens um, so we've got two headscarves here we've got this one which has this design on that looks like this and then we've just got this plain creamy coloured one here and included in the little bag, there's also um, a little card that tells you five stylish ways to rock our scarves. So, it doesn't necessarily have to be a headscarf. Obviously, you can use it as um, a neck um, scarf or to decorate your bag or things like that. So, um, so these have an RRP of $30. 
These super soft scarves can be wrapped around your ponytail or bun or you can tie them onto your handbag as an accessory. They're not very descriptive in, in these, are they? Um, pretty much tells you everything you, you already know anyway. Um, but yeah, so that was those. And then the other things that were available from that category, or not available as the case may be, was the Sorbus Makeup Organiser. The Ahava Refreshing Facial Cleansing Gel, which was this one. The Erna Laszlo Sea Mud Deep Cleansing Bar. Yeah. The Grown Alchemist Body Cream in Mandarin and Rosemary Leaf. or the Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. So what I actually wanted was the Elemis product. Um, it was a full size product, so I was quite keen to get my hands on it, but obviously it was a popular, it, it was a very popular product. So uh, yeah, it went fast. Um, so I, I didn't manage to get that, which I was I was a little bit sad about. But um, I did actually get a deluxe mini of that product in, I think it was Look Fantastic for February. So I am still going to get to try it, um, but obviously it's not a full size version. So yeah, a little, little bit disappointed by that. Um, the other options, again, I just wasn't thrilled with them the Erna Laszlo mud um soap bar thing I've I've had before it's okay but it's not something that I use in my routine very easily um and the only other thing that I was, was umming and ahhing about was the Ahava um cleansing gel I've got so many cleansers I really don't need any more cleansers so in the end I went with the scars because I thought and might be able to get some use out of them um, and if not I'm pretty sure I can find a good home for these as well. So category 5 again was something that only um, select members could choose from again if you were a seasonal member FabFitFun would have chosen an item for you. So the thing that I chose was the H Halston Aloe Infused Gel Line Socks and Pumice Stone which I will just take out from here. So you've just got a pumice stone here, which I haven't had one of these for years, to be honest. And then we've got the gel lined socks. Now, these are going to feel weird, I know they are. But inside, they've got this sort of gel texture. Um, you've got some grippies on the bottom so you don't slip all over the place. Um, and they're quite thick. Now, I am forever trying to find ways to make my feet look, I wouldn't even say pretty at this point. It's it's just a year-round battle with me. I just, I'm like a lot of people, I don't pay enough attention to my feet. I ignore them and then when it's time to start trying to show my feet again, I realise that I should have been paying more attention. And then try brand new products to try and rectify the situation. And I've probably still got the old products from the year before sitting in my collection. This is no exception. I have foot stuff that I bought last year and from the year before. And now I have new stuff. Um, but to be fair, the reason I chose this was again because there was nothing else in the category that I was really that interested in. And I thought at least these will be useful. At least I'll get some use out of them. And if they work bonus so the rrp on these is 40 dollars um and it just says slip on these aloe infused terry socks for noticeably softer feet so i did read somewhere the description for these is you put them on overnight and then in the morning you use the pumice stone um you sort of give your feet a wash and use the pumice stone and these socks sort of help to soften everything up so that you can remove all the hard dead skin on your feet Sounds disgusting. If you're not into feet, I'm really sorry. Um, but yeah, that's that's essentially what those are for. Um, so the other things that we could have chosen from category five then was the Pure Cosmetics Iconic Glow Illuminating Face and Body Dry Oil, which is this one. 
the Camp Collection Dip Dye Market Tote, which is this one. The Cocoa Floss Tropical Trio, which is here, which is just dental floss, by the way. Um, the Summer and Rose Rose Tweezer with Pouch. And that was it. I thought there was an extra one, but there isn't. Um, so yeah, so out of all of those, these socks were really the only thing that I was interested in. Um, I did toy with the idea of getting the pure face and body dry oil, but it's it seems to be a shimmery product, and I know that's something that I'll just not use. So uh, yeah, so I went with the socks in the end. So now we're on to category six. Now categories six, seven, and eight, um, they're the categories that FabFitFun choose for everybody so nobody gets a choice on this one you get whatever fabric fun sends you so they sent me the earth harbour marina biome brightening ampule i've had a couple of things from earth harbour now um i've recently finished a night serum and i really enjoyed it um i've also got the helios serum um so i'm keen to give that a go as well um and again brightening like i said with the watermelon quite like brightening so this sounds quite interesting too so this has spirulina and blue tansy in it this is what it looks like in the bottle which looks very interesting quite like the color of that so on the back of the box it says Marina Biome Brightening Ampoule is named for the treasured ocean blue botanicals she possesses, spirulina and blue tansy. She harbours concentrated adaptogenic oils that vigorously, that vigorously brighten and balance for an even radiant complexion. Apply two or more drops to your skin after cleansing and toning. Sounds simple enough. Um, so the RRP on this is $38. Um, and it just says this oil features spirulina and blue tansy to vigorously brighten and balance the skin which is pretty much what I just read so yep yeah, so happy to have that the other things that they could have sent me were the each jewels flower hair clip in a two pack which was this here I'm glad I didn't get those um, and the Human and Kind Hand Scrub in Elderflower and Raspberry. Which I'd have been kind of interested to try, but I know I've used a hand scrub before and it just, I don't know, it just felt weird sort of scrubbing my hand and not moisturising afterwards, which I'm assuming is sort of what this product is um yeah removes dead skin cells while leaving the hands out so soft so yeah it, it, i'm actually happy with what they sent me so that's good category seven they sent me the sun's out pouts out lip masks um so this is a pack of four so it's four pieces of gold foil lip masks infused with sicca and honeysuckle flower extract I'm so happy to see these. Oh my gosh, my lips have been so dry the last couple of weeks. Um, it's a bit of a long story. I won't get into it in this video, but um, yeah, I've kind of been indoors a lot the last couple of weeks, and my skin, and in particular my lips, have really started to suffer. Not getting fresh air and sort of central heating because it's been a bit cold. Yeah, skin's not doing great. Um, so I'm so happy to see these. So the RRP on these is $16. Kiss dry lips goodbye. Botanical extracts deeply hydrate and condition the lips for a smoother pout in minutes. Sounds good to me. And the other things they could have sent me were the Pink Sky Cactus Sipper Cup, which is this thing here. That looks like a nightmare to clean. Kind of glad I didn't get that. Um, and the Cali Cosmetics Body Wash, which, oopsie, um, again, I'm really happy with what they sent me, I, 
not really interested in the other two items so uh, yay and then the last category category eight they sent me these which is from say i think is how you pronounce that brand um and they're just some makeup remover pads they they actually feel really nice they're really soft um double-sided and they're really like padded they feel amazing so this three pack of reusable beauty rounds um the rrp on these is 15 dollars ditch your makeup wipes for these reusable cotton rounds i've had a few sort of similar types of products but nothing that sort of feels like this so i'm really keen to try these i've had some things that have worked for me and some that haven't worked as well i do actually use um reusable cotton pads um, to remove my makeup um, and to use cleanser and to use um, like my micellar cleanser and toners um, but I'm definitely keen to give these a go so oh, they, they do feel really soft mm. and the other thing that they could have sent me from this category was the Nails Ink Nail Polish in My Fair Lane which is a pale pink Um, and again, I'm really happy with what they sent me because I don't really wear nail polish all that much. I've got quite a few in my collection already. I definitely don't need another one. Pale pink probably isn't something that I would gravitate towards as my first choice anyway. Not unless I'm sort of really in the mood for it. Um, and I've got quite a lot of pinks in my collection as it is. So I definitely didn't need that. So yeah, so uh, really really happy that they sent me these instead so that was the last item in the box quick little recap we had the milk makeup um watermelon brightening duo we had the guyam uh, ultimate core toning kit we had the joy Dravecki chloe ring we had the lark and ives hair scarf bundle we had the h halston aloe infused gel lined socks and pumice stone the earth harbour marina serum Sun's Out Pouts Out Lip Masks and the three pack of the Say Reusable Beauty Rounds. And then of course I also added in the Munro Watch. So I'm going to put up on screen now the total value of everything that I received, not including the add-on, just the total that Fabric Fun sent me. So overall, I actually quite like this box. Um it's it's just a little bit different isn't it it's not it's not your standard beauty box which i quite enjoy now obviously it is on the more expensive side of things but you only get it once every three months so it kind of kind of balances out i think um i'm really excited to try the milk makeup products i'm excited to try the earth harbor product too um the um core toning kit because I am on a bit of a health kick at the moment, I'm definitely going to try and give those a go. But I think that might have to be when my son's not in the room because he's definitely going to commandeer it. He definitely thinks that ball is his already. The um, beauty rounds, they're going to be really useful. It's, it's the kind of thing that I like to try and use anyway. The gel line socks, I'm kind of keen to try those. I'm excited to see whether they actually do me any good. I'm hoping so, but... Uh, we'll have to see i'll have to let you know in a future video at some point i'm sure and those lip masks could not have come at a better time for me so really the only things that i'm not really that fussed about is the ring and the um hair scarves but to be fair the hair scarves are quite pretty i can probably find a use for them and the ring again if i decide it's really not for me I'm sure I can find someone that will love it more than I do. So overall, I think this is a really good box. Um, it's Obviously, it's a little disappointing that I couldn't get a couple of the items that I really wanted to get my hands on. But in reality, I didn't need any more lipsticks. And the Elemis Enzyme Peel, I am going to get to try from another subscription box anyway. So for me, that's not it's not really a big deal. Um, but I do understand that for some people that would have been quite frustrating but now i'd love to hear from you guys what do you think of this box um is this a box that you subscribe to if so what did you get what did you choose um were you happy with this box or would you rather have had some of the other items from the categories 
if you don't already subscribe to this box is what you've seen here today something that has maybe tempted you to subscribe just let me know in the comments down below i'm always interested to hear other people's thoughts and opinions if you've enjoyed this video please remember to hit that like button for me it really helps me out and lets me know that you're enjoying my content if you're not already subscribed to my channel but you think you'd like to catch up with me more often then i'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button too it's totally free and would help you to find me more easily in future and with all of that being said i really hope everyone's well and staying safe and i will see you all again in another video very very soon thanks for watching bye